button welcome to rainbow network media please kindly subscribe to this channel for interesting news thank you all for listening organizers of the ensas anniversary protest in lagos said on tuesday they will embark on a two-hour car procession through the lake target the decision followed the ins insistence of the police command on its no street protest in any part of the state. Two of the organizers for Larry Falano and Ade Bowali Adedayo made this known via social media posts yesterday. Falano, a musician popularly known as Fowls, is the son of a senior advocate of Nigeria and rights activist. Femi Falano Adedayo is a comedian known as Mr. Macaroni. The Abuja protest will be led by the 2019 presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, AAC, Omoyele Showuro, and an activist, DG Adeyonju. Falano and Adedayo who use their various platforms to share flyers about the couple bills to hold between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. today, explained that the decision was to prevent security force from harassing participants. They vowed that the youth cannot be silenced and will not be forced to forget those who lost their lives at last October 20th, urging Nigerians with vehicles to join the protest. Falana said it was impossible not to memorialize our fallen heroes. He wrote, We will never ever forget that innocent Nigerian citizens waved flags and sang till they were shot at, injured, and killed. We must never forget, we are rolling up in cars, we must never forget, tomorrow, to drive through the tow gate, we know their way, so a procession of cars is the safest option to minimize police harassment. We will stay in our vehicles throughout, we have rights for people that need them. Each and everyone's safety is very important, so please let's move together. His father, Femi Falano, led his voice to the prot protest, saying that if there was no provocation by the government today, there would be no violence in the part of the country. Soro is a brief in a brief interview with the nation said. We will commence the protest at the Unity Fountain Abuja by 8 a.m. in the morning. Adeyonju, who confirmed that the protest will begin from the Unity Fountain, added that I don't think we need to inform the police about the protest. From flyers, that, that event went viral on social media. The reporters observed that the organizers in states such as Abia, Adamawa, Bayesa, Deta, Edo, Enugun, Kwara, Oyo, Undo, Plateau, and Rivers have perfected plans for the protest. Oyo protesters will gather at Iwo Road, Under Bridge, and Ojo Roundabout, while Edo protesters will meet at Monsoon Ground King Square in Benin. Quara protestants will be meeting at Challenge Junction. Why the candlelight procession is to be held at Point Post Office on the bridge. Enugun protestants are to meet at Opera Square protestants in River State will converge at the Water Lines Pora Courts. For Adamawa State, the protestants will converge at the Bekaji Parliament. Yola, why those in Bayesa have planned to hold the protest at Etegwe NITT Road, 
by Borupit Yenegua. Also yesterday, Falana San told reporters, said he believes that there will be no violence if the protesters were not provoked by the government. I can tell you, if there is no provocation by the government, tomorrow's there will be no violence in the country. He said during the uh, comparative lecture and public presentation of Remarking Nigeria, 60 years, 60 voice, the theme of the lecture was one year after NSAS, 35 years after Deligiwa, and the, the quest to remake Nigeria. Falana added, if you also recall what happened last year, the violence was instigated by the government and sponsored by the government. I am sure you saw some of the criminal elements in Abuja who were freed all over the place shooting at protestants. In Alausa here, a busload of thugs armed to the teeth were unleashed on protestants. So, if the government does not want to cause violence rallies, rallies will take place peacefully. Yesterday, the Delta State Government announced plans to pay $102,450,000 Naira as incidental claims to victims of police brutality and human rights violation in the state. Secretary to the State Government, Mr. Patrick Uka said in a statement yesterday that the payment will be made in due course. So guys, uh, the plan to hold the rally of NSAS has been perfected for today. And uh, they said the theme of the NSAS is the remembrance of the fallen heroes that five years after the Legiwa and the quest to remake Nigeria. So guys, uh, all we want and all what everybody is looking up to is a peaceful protest. And uh, whatever that is your own thoughts concerning this news, please let us know by dropping your comment at the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe and continue to follow up for more uh, interesting updates. Thank you all for listening.